In this lesson, we will look at a law of conservation of momentum problem. The question reads, a 5 gram pellet is compressed against a spring in a gun of mass of 300 grams. The spring is released and the gun is allowed to recoil with no friction as the pellet leaves the gun. We're expected to do two things. If the speed of the recoiling gun is 8.0 meters per second, what is the speed of the pellet? And what is the total energy stored in the spring? Let's begin with an illustration of what's happening. Within a gun, there is a spring, okay, represented here, and it is fully compressed, and at the very end is the pellet. Once the spring is released, obviously the pellet will shoot in this direction, and the spring will go back to its original position, looking like this. The pellet has been shot in this direction. Now the reason why we're using the law of conservation of momentum here is because there are no external forces. And as a result, we'll be using the formula for momentum being P is equal to the mass times velocity. Now since there are no external forces and we're using the conservation of momentum, adding up the momentum of the pellet and that of the gun must equal to zero. So I'll write down that the momentum of the pellet, remember we're representing momentum with P, plus the momentum of the gun needs to equal to zero. That can be broken down into m sub p times v sub p. And if we say that moving in the direction to the right is positive, then moving in the direction to the left must be negative. So the velocity here, given that velocity is a vector, will be positive, and the velocity in this direction going to the left needs to be negative. So for this, I'll break it down into m sub g for gun times the velocity of the gun will be negative v is equal to zero. Let's substitute all the values we know. So the speed of the gun is eight meters per second. I'll replace this with negative 8.0 times the mass of the gun, which is 300 grams plus the velocity of the pellet, that's what we're looking for actually, in the question, the speed. So I'll leave that blank. And the mass of that pellet was 5.0 grams. Let's go ahead and solve for V sub P. I'll take the product of these two over. So 300 times negative 8.0 is negative 2,400. And if we move it over to the other side, it is positive 2,400. And on the left side, we have 5.0 times V sub P. Divide both sides by 5.0 to isolate for V sub P. And we'll get the velocity of the pellet very soon. So 2,400, using our calculator, divided by five makes 480 meters per second. That is really fast. So that's the answer for A, and for B they're saying what is the total energy stored in the spring? For that we need to use the kinetic energy formula. If you forgot what it was, it's KE is equal to MV squared over two. So we'll find the kinetic energy of this and the kinetic energy of the spring and add them up. Let's begin with the pellet. So I'll write down again, KE is equal to the mass, and make sure that the mass of the pellet is represented in kilograms because the units for kinetic energy are in joules, and joules is newtons times meters, and newtons is in kilograms times meters per second squared. So you have to have it in kilograms, okay? Don't forget, mass of this pellet is five grams, and in kilograms that's 0 0.00, .00 5, multiply 2, its speed of 480 raised to the power of 2 over 2. Using our calculator, 0 0.005 times 480 raised to the power of 2 over 2, 576. And the units here are in joules. We'll do the same thing for the gun. So kinetic energy is 0 0.300 and the speed was eight raised to the power of two over two. Using our calculator, 0 0.300 times eight to the power of two divided by two makes 9.6 joules. So the gun had this much energy, 9.6 joules, and this bullet had that much energy. We add them up, 
to get the total energy stored in the spring. So adding these two numbers up, we have 5, 8, 5, decimal 6 joules. And so there you have it. That is how to apply the law of conservation of momentum.